Hello, grade five, and welcome to our new lesson. Today's lesson is going to be module 10, CLIL 5. By the end of this video, you will be able to first, learn seven new words and phrases and use them correctly. Two, identify the main idea to answer one question through reading. And finally, locate details to answer comprehension questions. Now, get ready. Open your student book, page 125, along with your workbook, page 108. Let's have a look at this picture. What can you see? It is brown. It is basically the skin of earth. Soil, excellent. If you throw rubbish, you will pollute the soil. It is a noun. What about this picture? These are recycling bins. In these, we separate our garbage. Using recycling bins makes earth cleaner. It is a noun. Look closely at this picture. It is a place where they create new things or modify on old things to make new items out of them. What do we call it? It is a factory. There are many factories in Ras Le Fan. It is a noun. What is this? It is something made by man to help make our lives easier. It is a machine. We use this machine to make shoes. It is a noun. What kind of a machine is this? What does it do? What do we put inside of it? Excellent! It is a washing machine. We use washing machines to wash our clothes. It is a noun. Oh no! Look at this ice cube. Where did we have to put it to avoid what happened to it? It melts, melt. If you put the ice outside the freezer, it will melt. It is a verb. Look at all these items. We see them every day, forgetting how dangerous they could be. We call them chemicals. The excessive use of chemicals is harmful to the earth. It is a noun. Let's now listen and repeat. CLIL 5 Modules 9 to 10 Social Studies Science 1. Vocabulary Soil Recycling Bin Factory Machine Washing Machine Melt Chemicals Let's now check our understanding. Kindly open your workbook, page 108, and let's all have a look at activity number one. In this activity, we're going to read and complete. We're going to read the sentences and fill into the blanks with the words in the box above. We're going to do number one together. Then you're going to pause the video, do the rest on your own, then come back to me to check your answers. Let's start. Number one. Your clothes are really dirty. Put them in the. Where do you put your dirty clothes? 
in the washing machine. Very good. Now, pause the video and come back to me to check your answers. Welcome back, grade five. We have all agreed that we put our dirty clothes in the washing machine. Very good. What about number two? Children must not play with batteries. Why? What do you think are in batteries? Chemicals. Very good. Number three. Last Saturday, my parents and I took our old fridge to a recycling. Recycling what? From the words in the box above. It has to be something big and something that deals with old items. It's a factory. Very good. What about number four? All plants need. You studied this in science. What do all plants need? We have here water and sun. What else do plants need? Soil. Very good. Number five. You did not put the butter in the fridge and it. What would happen to soft things or solid things in the heat. They melt, so the butter melted. Excellent. Number six, there are many what at my school? We can recycle glass, metal, plastic, and paper there. Recycling bins, excellent. Number seven, let's test this. Is it working? Machine. Very good. Let's all fly back to our student book, page 125. Let's have a look at the picture and the text. What kind of text is this, do you think? It is a factual text. It's full of facts. Very good. Where can we read it? In books? and in magazines. Excellent answer. Let's look at these pictures. What can you see in the first picture? It looks like an old machine, maybe an old computer. What about the second picture? It's not, not to throw in the trash bin. Why? What do we do with old machines? What do we do with old machines? We recycle them. Excellent. And that leads to the following question. What are some of the things we must recycle? Let's read together and find out. Two, read and answer. What are some of the things we must recycle? How much do you know about recycling? Did you know that there are many things we mustn't throw away? We have to recycle these things. Machines and electronic devices. We can recycle computers, tablets, mobile phones, washing machines, and even cars. Recycling factories break them into small pieces, and then other factories make new things. It's very important to recycle these things, because throwing them in the rubbish is bad for the environment. Batteries, medicine, and oil. Do you throw these items in the rubbish bin? Big mistake. These items have got dangerous chemicals. When we throw these items in our rubbish bins, these chemicals pollute the soil, the rivers, and the oceans. This is very bad for our health. Throw them away in special recycling bins or take them to recycling factories. Crayons. Do you like coloring but can't stand broken or very small crayons? Send them to crayon factories. There they will melt them and make new ones. Then, they will give them back to schools, hospitals, or other organizations for children. Shoes Don't throw your old sports shoes away. 
Special factories can recycle them to make sports fields for children all around the world. Some sports companies use them to make new shoes or T-shirts and shorts. So, after reading, what do you think the answer is to this question? What are some of the things we must recycle? Machines and electronic devices. Very good. In addition to batteries, medicine, and oil. And finally, crayons and shoes. Excellent answer. Well, what are some machines and electronic devices we can recycle? We can recycle computers, tablets, mobile phones, washing machines, and even cars. Very good. Why, why is it important to recycle these things? Why? Because factories can use all the metal and plastic from these things again to make other things. Also, throwing them in the rubbish is bad for the environment. What have batteries, medicine, and oil got in common? They have got dangerous chemicals, and we must not throw them away. Well, what happens when you throw chemicals away? They pollute the soil, the rivers, and the oceans, and this is bad for people's health. Well, what about crayons? What should people do with their broke or very small crayons? Look in the paragraph under crayons. Very good. We should send them to crayon factories where they melt them and make new ones for children to paint all over the world. What can people do with old sports shoes? The same. People should send them to special factories to make new shoes, t-shirts and shorts. Let's check our understanding. Let's have a look at our student book, page 125, activity number three. In this question, we'll have to read again and write true for true sentences or false for false sentences. We'll do number one together as an example. Then I need you to pause the video, read the text again, answer the questions and come back to me to check your answers. Let's begin. Number one, recycling factories cannot recycle big machines. Is that true? No, it is false because we are encouraging people to send their old refrigerators and other big machines to their recycling factories. Excellent answer. Now, pause the video, go read, answer, then come back to me to check your answers. Welcome back. Number two, we should throw batteries in our rubbish bins at home. What do you think this answer is? It is false. Why? Do you remember? Because they contain harmful chemicals. Excellent. Number three, there are special recycling bins for batteries, medicine and oil. True, very good. Number four, recycle your broken crayons and you can help organizations for children. True. Number five, your old shoes can become new shoes or clothes. This is also true, very good. 
Do you know that a liter of oil can pollute up to a million liters of drinking water? Imagine that. I want you now to dig into the internet and find me more exciting information. Project work. Use the internet to find interesting facts about recycling. You should select the information you think is interesting and use it to make a poster. Present your poster in class in the next lesson or just post it in the channel of this lesson on your Teams. Today we have learned seven new words and phrases and used them correctly. Got the main idea and answered one question. And finally, we have located details and answered comprehension questions. Thank you very much for this lovely, lovely lesson. See you next time.